Play like a champion, a sign that's been part of the Oklahoma locker room for decades. Every Sooner taps the sign before he takes the field. The Oklahoma Sooners, number two in the nation, still smarting from an upset loss to Washington in the Orange Bowl a year ago. Tonight, the Nittany Lions of Penn State come in undefeated and number one in the country, but they are a decided underdog. Here come the Sooners in their crimson and cream. A year ago, they came into the Orange Bowl a chance at the national championship. And a very sharply trained Washington team under Don James upset them 28-17. And the Sooners, Trump, have not gotten over that. Well, there are a lot of players from the Oklahoma Sooners who, when they came to the Orange Bowl this week to practice, they were all mentioning they had bad memories of this place. The last time the Sooners played on grass was last year's Orange Bowl loss to the Washington Huskies. And Barry Switzer has put these guys through an awful lot of work. They came down here very early, had two a days. Seems to be a rededication of the football team, and they're not to be denied tonight. This is also a situation Oklahoma does not like. Third and long. Holloway completes just 41% of his passes. That's all, a 41% pass, and he throws in frequently. And not here. Not bad either. Janelle Holloway not down until he gets out. Across the 35-yard line of Oklahoma, 17-yard run on the play, but still short of a first down as Conlon made another tackle for Penn State. Last time in long yardage now, Janelle Holloway ran the quarterback draw. Holloway on third and nine. Loops it out. He's got his big tight end, Keith Jackson, who is chopped by Ray Isom, but inside the 35-yard line of Penn State, a 13-yard gain for the Sooners, and they have a first down. First Oklahoma first down. Penn State leads in the first quarter, 7 to nothing. Rydell Carr as the Sooners now start to gear up. Offense in sync as they run it down to the 22-yard line of Penn State. Again, Ray Isom made the tackle. Don Crickey with Bob Trumpy, Bob Greasy, and Jimmy Cephalo at the 1986 Orange Bowl. Number two, Oklahoma, favored by over a touchdown in some estimations, trailing 7-3 with the ball. Spencer Tillman. Showing that breakaway speed, the Oklahoma backs breaking like quarter horses at the snap of the ball, break off a 12-yard gainer. Number 52, the nose tackle for Penn State, 67. Second and 14 now for the Sooners. Fails. Jamel Holloway is able to get out of this game with his uniform and his life and little else. He's eyeballing him right, left, wherever he goes. Janelle Holloway, the leading rusher for Oklahoma, almost five and a half a carry, has minus eight on five rushes. Home run ball. Jackson has it. The All-American tight end is going in, and Oklahoma takes the lead on a 71-yard touchdown play. Jackson ran that pattern over a backup safety. Ray Isom still on the bench having his knee tape. Ray Bookman was the man beaten. There is the wrecking ball in the middle for the Sooners. Tony Casillas. Oklahoma has now outscored its opponents in the second quarter over the season 140 to 10. Intercepted by Sonny Brown. Inside the 30, not done yet. Inside the 15-yard line of Penn State. So Schaefer, whose throws were close to being picked up earlier, gets one up, and Sonny Brown takes it back 22 yards, and now Oklahoma's in good position with a first down. As soon as he saw Schaefer setting up to throw, about five quick steps, and he was on him, and now it's going to be third down and 13 for Penn State. off again Tony Rayburn all the way down inside the 10 yard line so Schaefer on consecutive misfires in the last two possessions and a 34 yard return by Tony Rayburn and Oklahoma threatening to go in again before halftime ball was intended for running back David Clark 
You'll see this ball tip. I don't understand why John Schaefer is throwing into coverage. There's one man, there's two men, and his last two completions, Don, have been to the other guys. Is that you call that Trump room service for Tony that's, Rayburn? That's room service. Yes, sir. Just what I ordered. <laughs> 12th play of the drive coming up. 9-10 to go, third quarter. They're going to air it out again. A long ball. Timpson's out there. Intercepted again. Sonny Brown comes down with his second of the night. Into double coverage again, Don. Tight end was wide open. Winchester, a standout punter from Marietta, Oklahoma. Snapper drills it. And Winchester does, too, as Jim Coates pedals back to reverse, his 49. Reverse. Kimson gets the ball. There's some blockers, and Michael Thumbo. Kimson crossed it up. Oklahoma has the ball at the Sooners' 42-yard line. Gift wrap. With the reception, it would seem to be a fumble, but the Sooners get the ball in a first down. Now Holloway turns the corner. The first big gainer he's broken, getting up field on the wide sweep. Hand up to Lydell Carr, and he's down inside the five-yard line, breaking three tackles en route. A 17-yard gain on the play. Don Cricky with Bob Trumpy, Bob Greasy, and Jim Cephalo at the 1986 Orange Bowl in Miami. Again, this game, the signal event in college football. For the fourth time in five years, the national championship on the line. It's Spencer Tillman breaks it for the Sooners. And he's all the way out across his 40 to the 41-yard line. Back into battle for the Sooners. Third and six, Oklahoma. Petra Collins. First down and plenty more as he breaks it inside the Penn State 40. Lance Hamilton made was one of the tacklers along with Ray Isom. Schaefer now 9 for 21 throwing the ball for 70 yards but the big number the three interceptions. Throwing a strike. Danidio has it but there's virtually well, way short of the first down. It's some gain out to the 39 yard line of Penn State. But right there to ride him down was Tony Rayburn of Oklahoma as Coach Switzer is starting to think championship ring right now. And many of their top people are back. Most of them. Same is true for Penn State. Another big play by a Sooner defender diving at the ball was Bosworth breaking up a play. He reminds you a lot of Lambert, a former Steeler great, the way he gets downfield. Just doesn't get the ball out far enough in front of the receiver and Bosworth knocks it away. Clark is hit hard by Donnie Jones, linebacker shooting the gap for the Sooners, and the knockdown's made at the 17-yard line. The game clock ticks, 4:21 and running as Oklahoma continues to lead 19 to 10. Has allowed number one Penn State just 10 tonight, forcing four Penn State turnovers. They intercepted the Nittany Lions three times and also got a fumble on a punt return. Spencer Tillman working to stay in bounds. He does not. Goes out of bounds at the 33-yard line with 2:01 to play in the game. Ten-yard gain. That a guy's right. We are number one all season long. You see him flashing that number one sign. Followed by a late night with David Letterman on NBC. 152 to go in the Orange Bowl. Oklahoma, that far away from the national championship. Back to the run go the Sooners, and they break a big one. Off and running is Lydell Powers, and he is going to go the distance. Lydell Powers in standing up, and the national championship with certainty now belongs to Coach Switzer and his Sooners. 142 to play, and they own it. The only Big A team in bowl competition this year to win. Colorado lost, Nebraska lost, and Oklahoma State lost. Only fitting that another big play by the defense, Liddell Glenn, a junior cornerback, runs it back, and he almost took it the distance as he's down with three seconds to play. And the final numbers are up. Four seconds to go. 
Clock stop. And it's 25-10, Oklahoma in the lead. And Oklahoma about to grab the golden ring one more time. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. That, you know, it's a team game. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a total team effort and team game. But I'm going to tell you something. This, personally, to me, is something I didn't talk to you all about and I talked to our coaches about. This, this ball game, I want you to listen to this. This ball game, I knew we were going to win. Because the time Bud Wilkinson became head coach, he coached 154 games. At the end of that 154 games, when it, he, his record was 126, 24, and 4, and three national championships. Through 153 games, our record was 125, 24, and 4, two national championships. Hey, tonight, we tied, but walked in. Yeah. Yeah.